this angle. When I go there from mine, I have to do the roundabout. Because mm -hmm. I'm going straight, it's not so bad. I'm so happy that we got the lid on. Yeah. Afterwards, I remember my mates going, You had on talk sport. I remember my mates going, You had on talk sport, or you've got to try and go out. I expect with nothing and less from an Audi. On a session with them. And if I can bump into them and tell all my mates that I've been having a drink with these two, brilliant. And everything that consumes my thinking before it was alcohol, after it was alcohol. Yeah. But now it's like I met up with Brian this morning. Oh, that's not going to end. Time is running out. There's just two weeks left to win a van. Here's a little clip where I lose my temper. You can see that we've got a green light. So they have got a red light. It's, just, it's not even close. But they still decide to go through the red light, nice and slow. And they still keep coming. That arsehole, you could have waited. And now you'll see in a second why I lose my temper, because not only have they gone through a red light, there's an ambulance coming, which they would have definitely been able to see. Fucking disgraceful, you cunt. You know, if I want to turn left, I generally get in the left lane, unlike this guy that's gone into the right lane. Why, I do not know. I've got plenty of room behind me to just go there. Some peculiar reason he wants to get in front of me got plenty of room to move over to the left now doesn't again The same with this clown here. He wants to turn left. I obviously don't know that. But there is no right turn. There's a bloody barrier there. What is he doing? The speed limit is 20 miles an hour, but we are doing about 15 miles an hour. And I know I'm going to get criticised for undertaking. But what are you supposed to do? I know. Wait. Yeah. For an idiot. This here is your classic look left and right. Phone to the head, have a look right. There could be a motorbike or a cyclist coming that way. Just so happens there was, but that one was playing attention and wasn't going too fast neither. Now this here is classic to what they're doing in London at the moment. You can hear the sirens in the background, but how am I supposed to pull over? How is anyone supposed to pull over can't pull over for you i mean luckily enough it's just motorbikes which don't have no trouble I'm getting past me look at all these fucking spike things in the way for the cyclist and as you can see from the rear view camera in a second, nobody actually pulls over for him. And if you drive in London, you would know why. If you did pull over in between the spikes, you would probably get an ear bashing from cyclists. No one would let you back out. And if there's a camera there, you'd probably get a fine as well for being in the cycle path. So it's a no-win situation.
I swear this clip isn't running on a loop. Now this really isn't that hard. There's giveaway lines there, which means he's got to give way to me. I've got priority. But as you can see from the front of his car, it is an Audi. I don't think you've got the right way, fucking idiot. Fucking Audis. This is the same thing here, except the car that's coming out from the giveaway is so far out. Why not just let him go? I do wonder sometimes how chavs like this actually get dressed in the morning. Do they need help doing that? Because they can't even use the crossing that's 10 feet away. And the cyclist in the black doesn't look once to the right. Not once. And yes, I was too close to them. But chavs like that give me the right bloody ump. Not the right attitude, I know. Now, anybody that drives in Croydon knows what's going to happen now. I've got to admit, I didn't expect the second bit of this to happen, though. I'll speed it up because it's a little bit boring. It wasn't just me that he's sneaked in front of at the lights there. There was a whole queue of traffic waiting there. But then he does this so desperate to get in front and he is doing at 30 miles an hour he's doing the speed limit in the outside lane i expected him to go a little bit faster and he still doesn't need to be in the outside lane as he still goes down the same the same road as what i do just holds everybody up gets in front of everyone and then holds them all up okay in this clip what we're looking at is a red car coming from the left. It's not the first one, it's the second red car. I cannot see him look once to the right. So not that one, the next one. This pickup truck coming up actually bibbed the camera for being in his way. The road does widen into two lanes a little bit further up, but at the moment it still is only one lane. Not me driving here, this is a clip that was sent in. As you can see, there's quite an obstruction on the left hand side and we're going around the bend, so we can't really see, but the learner in front can obviously see and carries on. The camera follows, but there's a learner coming towards us that can see everything. This one here. But it turns out it's not a learner driving at all, it's the instructor, because there's no one else in the car. And watch when he gets closer. Watch him put his seatbelt on. A great advert for your company, that really poor observation what's going on around you. And you don't even follow the rules by putting your seatbelt on. Couldn't recommend them.
Now we're looking at the Amazon driver, which is uh, almost as bad as the instructor back there. 